We were the only silver birds over, over Vietnam in the, in the, there was Barksdale, Columbus, Mississippi, and uh, Carswell, Texas had F models along with Mather. And we, those are the ones we used. Mather happened to be the ones over there most of the time. What was your altitude when you had the head on plane? Uh, we were at 31,000 actually. Uh, the base altitude going in is 30,000, 35, and 31. We were at three. I'd like to know if, if the military, if you had all this going on and you saw all the things that were sorted out wrong, did they adjust any of that or did they kick some loading guy out and bang him? Immediately. General Oki, uh, our accident board we got from Clark back to uh, 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 Anderson in Guam. General Oki, there's a guy named Sun Downwells. He was a three star general, head IG of the Air Force and all this stuff. And he came to Guam to investigate this. I had never seen you, and I think I'd met one two star one time at a distance almost. This is a three star general. I was a first lieutenant, and I got to brief him on all this stuff. Scared to death. Sundown Wells came in, fired General Oki, who was a one star, as a third air division commander. Made him leave the island that, that day because he was named Sundown Wells, and brought in a guy named Bill Crum, who was a two star general. He was a third air division commander. He was a great commander and a great guy. And I, uh, one of my dearest friends grew up beside him for many years. Her dad was a, a sack pilot. And Bill Crum was killed in the other B 52 mid air collision when they were changing leads. And it was just a damn shame because he was a good guy and he changed everything. All of our records, they got a new life raft, they changed the timing trials, they changed the refueling tracks, they did all this stuff because of our crash and they changed everything SAC was doing about that. But after they got that change and after he got killed, they didn't change a thing. They still wouldn't let the B-52s hit Hanoi and uh, Haiphong and those areas like that that would end the war. And we didn't do it all until December of 1972, which uh, an operation known as Linebacker 2 came in. We destroyed 96 targets in North Vietnam. They were done. We did it again the next day or two. We did it again the next day or two. And they said, we'll stop. They stopped. They gave us back our POWs. We pulled out. Two years later, they took over South Vietnam and murdered around 7 million people in the Southeast Asian area. Yeah. How far is it from Guam to Vietnam, and did you take off with a heavy fuel load, I mean, heavy bomb load and a light fuel load? No, we took off with a full fuel load and a full, uh, full bomb load. How far was it? It was about five and a half hours to get to Vietnam, about half an hour to find your target, and about, it was 12 hour missions, usually maybe 12, 20, 12 to 12, 20, and however far that is, we did about 450 knots. So I, 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 I don't remember the mileage, but I remember the times. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Yeah. Do you have those books with you? Oh. Are they in the bookstore? Or? Uh, I don't have very many of these left, so I, I don't want to give them to the bookstore. But you won't believe this. Some people have already bought this, and they do, because they've seen this on the internet. This darn thing sells for, some guy's trying to sell it for $249.99. <laughs> Another guy used they're selling it six used and new from 7920. I sell it for 30, but there's not many left. So if you want to buy it, it's $30. And uh, I'll sign it. I usually sell it for $29.98 plus two cents for me to sign it, which is worth every penny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm glad to, glad to sign them and sell them here anytime. Well, let's thank Don.